Welcome everyone, you are watching Quantitative Aptitude Series with Sachin Gopna. This is the 7th video. In this video, we are going to see about number of zeros and highest power. So a type of question which may they ask on this topic are of two types. Number one is with power. For example, they may give you expression like let's say 12 to the power 10 into let's say 18 to the power 5 to the whole power let's say 3 they may ask you find the highest power of 5 in this expression or highest power of 2 highest power of 3 etc they may ask you of any number the second type of question which may they ask you is without power example is like 12, 15, 94, 28. What is the highest power of 2 in this expression? So they will ask you the maximum value of n from this expression. What they mean from this is, let's say, so 12 you can break like 2 into 2 into 3. 15 do not have any 2, so we will not break this. 94 have only 1 2 and next one will be 47 right and 28 is 2 into 2 into 7 right so maximum number of 2 is 1 2 3 4 5 so maximum number of 2's power is 5 in this expression so this is very easy question so you can calculate manually but we need to understand the trick how to find this maximum power of any number right so these two type of question which may they ask on this topic so let's start so first thing which we are going to start is number of zeros so the topic will be number of zeros so in this topic they will give you expression and they will ask you how many number of zeros are there for example if i give you expression like 2 into 5 into 8 into 9 into let's say 3 right so in this expression whatever you will do so if you find a pair of 2 and 5 which will make 10 into this expression and in this expression we do not have any 2 or 5 right so whatever is the value so the answer will be x into 10 will be this so number of zeros will be only 1 so how you calculate the 0 so 0 comes from 10 right and 10 comes from pair of 2 and 5 pair of 2 and 5 5 so suppose you want to calculate the number of zeros then you need to calculate the number of pair of 2 and 5 and the pair of 2 and 5 will make the 0 right now let's understand this with one example let's say we have expression like 12 into 25 into 35 into 45 how many zeros are there in this expression so when you multiply this expression you will get your answer something like a b c then some zeros so at last how many zeros are there so it will not take care about those zeros so let's say we have three zeros here and two zeros here it will not ask you about this zero it will ask you the maximum power of 10 in this expression it means the number of zeros at the last right so in this expression what you need to calculate you need to calculate the pair of 2 and 5 so just focus on the pair of 2 and 5. So how many number of 2's are there? So if you break this 12 by 2, you will like 2, 6 is remaining, 2, 3 is remaining, let's say 3. Uh, 25, you will get 5 into 5, then 35, 5 into 7, then 45, 5 into 9. How many 2's are there? 1, 2. So 2 to the power 2 is there. How many 5 are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 5's are there now how many pairs you can create from this so a 10 will become from the pair of 2 and 5 right so in this expression we have only 2 so we can create a pair of only 2 pair of 2 and 5 that's why we can only create 2 pairs so number of zeros will be what it will be 2 zeros so 2 will be the answer of this expression that way we solve this question so the basic is whichever number is lesser the power of whichever number is less that number of 
zeros will be there right so here the power of 2 is only 2 and the power of 5 is 4 but less is 2 so we will just say two pairs it will create right let's do one more question to understand this let's suppose we have a question like 32 42 50 and let's say 48 right so in this question we know the number of zero will depend on 2 and 5 and in this expression we have lot of twos right but we have few five the five will only exist in this 50 we do not have any five in these uh, numbers right so let's say we have n number of twos in this we have n number of two in this right but uh, number of fives will be only two in this five into five uh, 25 into two we will have one two over there and have n number of two here so the less power is of 5 which is 2 so 2 will be many but 5s are only 2 so the pair will be only 2 pairs it will create so number of zeros after this expression will be only 2 zeros will be there at the end so that way you can solve such type of questions they can give you questions in the terms of power as well to calculate the number of zeros for example 12 to the power 3 into 15 to the power 4 how many number of zeros are there so what you need to do you need to break this in a pair of 2 and 5 again so this 12 is what 2 to the power 2 into 3 is your 12 and 15 is your 3 into 5 to the power 4 this is 15 this is 12 so when 3 will come here so it will become 2 to the power 6 we will ignore 3 we will ignore 3 because we we just need to calculate number of zeros and 5 to the power 4 so less number is of 4 so answer will be total number of 4 zeros will be there at the last so answer will be 4 so that way you can solve questions in which power are there they may ask you questions in the terms of a factorial as well let's suppose they, they can ask you number of zeros in let's say 13 factorial so such type of question you cannot solve by uh, finding number of 2's and 5's right because 13 factorial is something like 1 into 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 so now in this expression if we need to find number of 2's and number of 5's okay so let's first find the number of 2's in this expression so what you need to do you just need to divide this number by 2 how many times this number will be divisible it will go by six times right just one less than this ignore the remainder now we have six now try to divide this six by two how many times it will be divisible by three times two three just six now again divide this three by two how many times it will goes it will go by the only one time right so the answer will be the sum of these numbers so what is the sum three 6 9 plus 1 is 10 so sum is 10 so this sequence this multiplication expression will have 10 twos you can also prove this right so 1 2 is in this 2 are there 1 3 1 2 right so the sum is 1 3 4 7 8 plus 2 is 10 so total number of twos are 10 so instead of uh, calculating that way you can just use this method to calculate the maximum power of that number in a continuous multiplication or in a case of a factorial now if you want to find number of fives in this expression so we have 13 right if you divide 13 by 5 you will get what it will uh, divisible by only two times so this expression have only two fives see one is here and one is here we just have only two fives so at the last how many zeros will come so we have two fives and ten twos so less number is two so pair which you can make is only two pairs so this 13 factorial have only two zeros at the last so this is the answer let's do one more question suppose we have 100 factorial right how many zeros will be there at the last so what you need to do you again need to find the power of 2 and power of 5 
right? We know that obviously the number of twos will be more in this sequence, in this expression. So we will ignore finding the number of twos. We will just focus on number of fives. So what we will do, we will divide this 100 by 5. It will go how many times? 20 times. Again divided by 5, how many times it will go? It will go by 4 times. 4 is not divisible by 5, so we will leave it here. So total number of 5s are what? 24. Total number of 2s, if you just want to calculate here, so we can also do. So it will go 50 times. Now 50 again. It will go 25 times. So if you sum this, so it is already 75. We just need to focus the lesser number because pair will depend on less numbers. So 24 is the number of zeros which can be there in this expression. Okay. Now on a same note, if someone asks you find highest power, find the highest power, right? Highest power can be calculated in a same way. Suppose we have an expression like let's say 24 factorial. If someone asks you what is the highest power of 7 in this expression? So you just need to divide in the same way. 24 divisible by 7, it will go by 3 times. So 7 to the power 3 is the highest power in this expression. Right? It means that 7 to the power 3 into some number A will give you 24 factorial. That way you can also say. So this is the topic of highest power. So that's all which I have for this topic. I hope it must be clear. Thanks for watching our videos. If you are liking our videos, kindly do share, comment and like. It gives us motivation to work for you. Thank you so much.